I think it's called Purple Mountain. Yeah, Purple Mountain Range. It's in season 26, episode 10. So I'll be doing this one, and then I'll be doing one afterwards, just a simple seascape mountain type thing. So, yeah, we'll be working on that. Um, palette today, some Windsor & Newton water mixed oils, some uh, Lucas Berlin's. So this is cadmium yellow hue, yellow ochre, uh, naphthol red, or cadmium red light. Titanium white, alizarin crimson. This is ultramarine. Ultramarine. I'm using it in place of phthalo blue, and then uh, Prussian blue, ivory black, phthalo green, and this giant blob is, uh, I believe, dark sienna. I had a problem with the tube was stuck, and I squeezed it too hard, and it just kind of shot out like that. That's why it's a giant blob. And then this is just raw umber. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the ultra marine on a two inch brush and this is a trylon brush because i'm using water mix oils today uh, these are the only brushes i found that i can wash them multiple times in the water and they don't poof out i'm going to do some little x strokes across the top and this canvas is a little loose so i didn't spray it with water beforehand probably should have but it'll be okay it will be okay I found that the ultramarine isn't as strong. Hello, hello Skylancer, how are you doing? All right, we're just gonna put some sky colors up in here. Go across that way, across that way. Probably throw some clouds in here too. What are you painting? This is uh, just, I'm painting along with an episode of Bob Ross. So it's, it's going to be like a mountain range landscape type deal. Throw some water in left to right. And then on this side, right to left. Just pull in. Kind of looks like water. And then I'll just blend this out up above it. And I'll go all the way across. There we go. Doing pretty good. Gonna wash my brush. And this is water, so I'm using water mixed with oil. So it's just water and a little bit of soap. I just shake it out in the trash can. And wipe it off in a paper towel, because you don't want to take water and put it back up here. It'll smear and be terrible. For some reason, these the paint's not washing off. Which is, I hope I didn't use these for oil paints earlier. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I don't know. All right, we gotta get this pigment out of here. There we go. All right, now I'll get the two and a half inch brush here, and I'm gonna take this uh, titanium white just on the edge, I guess. I'm gonna throw on some clouds, some simple clouds though, something like this. I think most of this painting is going to be mountains, so I'm not really too concerned with these yet. All right, we do that. And we strengthen this one up a little bit. Maybe throw one up here. There we go. And then I'm going to wipe the white paint off real quick, just so it doesn't make it more light. And then I'm going to blend the bottoms out just with a little circle motion, just like this. Something like that, that's all I'm doing. Swing these ones around, and then we pull. At some point I need to cut this top part off because it's getting in the way pretty often. But now it's okay. There we go. Some wispy looking clouds out here. Now I'm gonna take the palette knife. We're gonna grab crimson. Black, phthalo, or ultramarine, whatever blue you got. Mix them up. There we go. Starting the top, go down and to the right. Gives you a little roll. And we're gonna we're gonna throw in some mountains. How big do we want? I want like a giant one, maybe. 
There's a big one. And then maybe let's do one right right there. And I just kind of blend out the bottom a little bit. All right. And now we're gonna we're gonna throw this one in. You don't think you could paint? I think you could, if you just practice. I know a lot of people, I mean, I felt that way when I started. My first painting was just a bunch of blobs. And, you know, people were like, oh, that's nice, that's a nice painting. But I don't think they, they were just being nice. <laughs> it just took, takes a long time to get good at stuff these days. I'm just okay. I'm taking this two inch brush and I'm just pulling it down. This kind of gives the mountain some shape and it blends out the brush marks too, which is good. But you don't have to do mountains this way if you don't want to. There's, there's a lot of ways to do mountains. And just blend out the bottoms there. There we go. Now we got some mountains there. I'm just kind of wiping the whatever colors I have in there on this towel. And these are shop towels, they're not regular paper towels. It's a little stronger, a little, a little bit stronger. If you have shaky hands so you can't keep a steady line, that is not actually a bad thing. A lot of people think that if you're doing tree branches, a shaky hand is actually really nice. And there are a lot of people on uh, Twitter that like those types of paintings with like sharp motions and things. So don't count yourself out yet. Huh? You can do it. Just give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna take some white, white paint here. I think I had some blue on there, so this might be a light blue, but that's fine. Should be fine. Maybe a little bit more. If we're gonna highlight all these, we're gonna need some. some Hefty paint here. All right. Oh, he doesn't want a bright mountain. Let's see. Maybe just a little bit less. We're going to the left. There's a subtle mountain, so I'm pulling down more than I normally would. All right. And then we're going to do one here. Some here. Just, we're just pulling straight down. Very gentle. Nothing, nothing crazy yet. No, no brute force or anything. All right, we're gonna do this guy. Just throw in some highlights. Maybe these ones. I'm just gonna rub in the paint because these ones I want farther away. And I missed the peak. Should have done this one. I don't know why I forgot them. Just pulling straight down. There we go. I don't want to sharpen this side up Oops, just a little bit. There we go. I'm just scraping the white paint and I'll blend this out here in a bit. Wipe the knife off. Get the two inch brush that we've been been doing. Bob Ross has painted this before. Yeah, I have seen the, uh, I do watch the, the live stream on Twitch that they do. It's pretty nice. It's nice that they have those for free. A lot of, um, a lot of channels, they put those types of things behind paywalls. So it's nice that they'll have them up for free. Some of this blue, some white, maybe the mountain color. A little bit more white. There we go. This is a 
the shadow color I'm going to use here. I'm just going to pull this one. Something like that. Probably should have done this before I highlighted or pulled the sides up or bottoms up. That's okay. That's okay. Pull this one down. There we go. There we go. Scrape this off here. Some ochre. Some red. It's like an orange. Dark orange, maybe. Not too much. Just scraping this in. Take that two inch brush again. Kind of blend it out. This will look, I guess, maybe like trees or something. There we go. Blend that out just a little bit. Maybe this one too. That one, that one. There we go. What types of things do you like to draw or paint? I like mountains mostly, although I have been doing a lot of seascapes and I, I enjoy those a little bit more. They're not as uh, they're not as complicated as mountains, I think. Little seascapes, just some headlands and palm trees. Probably my favorite thing to paint. Some darker color, maybe some black, some of that, just a little bit of that color. It's a very dark gray, I think. And then we're gonna throw that in down here. This is like a very small hill up in front. It's not quite a mountain. We're doing just little tiny circles here. I need to scrape this off here. Alright, knife's clean. Palette's clean. Alright. Just cleaning up space because I got a lot of colors here. I don't know if I'm going to use them again. Put that up there. up. I'm using a wooden palette. I know a lot of people use plastic ones, but I, I like the, the wooden ones. They don't glare as much, and you don't have to sand them to get them to not be glaring. It's just natural in the wood. You're colorblind to certain blues? I am too. I actually can't see purple and I can't see certain shades of blue, like light blue and white I get mixed up. It's kind of a pain. But there's one guy, um, I don't think his videos are available anywhere, but his name is uh, Robert Warren. And when he tells certain colors to use, he measures them in inches. So he'll say like, use an inch of this color and an inch of that color and mix them together. And that makes this other color. So there's not like, I don't have to guess, which is nice. When I paint with Bob, Bob Ross, or that Bill Alexander videos, you gotta, they just say, use these colors, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And a lot of times I end up with just random, <laughs> random colors. I don't know if they look right or not. All right, I think this is the mountain done here. I'm just wiping off the paint on this two and a half inch brush in case I want to blend something. Right. Black, blue, Prussian blue, dark blue, phthalo green, crimson. This is a very dark color. I have no idea what color it is, but it hopefully looks like a tree color. So this is one of the things I'm talking about. 
just these, they just say mix these colors together. I have no idea what color this is. All right, fan brush. And that dark color that I just mixed. And we're gonna throw in some evergreen trees here. One there. Maybe another one right here. And I like doing the tops first, just so I know where, roughly where they're gonna go. And then I just push in. this is blue or green. I hope it's green. Maybe dark green. If not, I guess that's okay. As long as it looks kind of like a tree. That's what I'm going for. It just looks very black, yeah. I hope it's black. I don't know. Just a dark color. I'm going to put in some colors that look like trees. And you do that just by tapping like that. Very simple. And I'll throw in another one right there. Big one. Big tree. Or not that big, but big enough. Uh, let's see. I have enough paint for one more little guy over here. There we go. Got some nice little trees here. I feel like I could fit one more in over there. Maybe I'll put a giant one over there. Giant, giant, there we go. <laughs> All right, there we go, we got that in. I'm gonna throw in some more. And once it gets down to this bottom part, I'm just hitting straight in because it's mixed with that other tree and we'll separate them with some highlights. All right, now we gotta reflect these, so one there. tall, one that tall, this tall, and then one giant one that goes all the way down. All right, so we got that. I'm just tapping down, make it look kind of like reflections. Now we'll go grab this two inch brush. Pull down. Now pull across, simple reflections. There we go. And then we'll grab this one, palette knife. I think this blob of paint is moved. That's not good. It's very really loose paint. This is a fresh tube of Lucas Verwin Burnt Sienna. I'm not gonna use that brand of paint anymore. It does not work very good or very well. It's like a, the tubes are so inconsistent. Like this one is almost a liquid. But you don't want that when you're doing this kind of painting. But then this other one, like this white one, that's pretty much solid. I don't know. I just get tired of inconsistent paints after a while. All right, we did that, we did that. What else do we need to do? I kind of want to highlight them. Maybe, maybe. Actually, I'm just gonna pull this out more. Make it look more like a shoreline. A lot of times when I do stuff with the palette knife, I put too much paint down and then when I try to put paint on top of it, it just smears everywhere. So if I pull it down with the fan brush first, I don't have to deal with that. All right, go into this yellow, cadmium yellow. This is cadmium yellow hue, which is Hansa yellow. Throw in some. Is that even gonna stick? Maybe. Doesn't look like it. Don't look like it's sticking. But I think that's kind of the point for this part because it's so far back. It doesn't need to stick. All right, we did that, and now we're gonna go back in. I'll use that dark yellow since it's already dirty. These are evergreens; they don't need to be bright here. And I'm gonna push up. Wherever I put a branch before, that's where I try to hit, at least roughly, the same area. So I have one there, I'm gonna try to hit that one. One there, big one there. One up here. I 
I think I've said this. I said this a while back. Oh, sorry. What do you do with your paintings when you finish them? Most of them are in, they're in a pile back there. Uh, sometimes I put them on Etsy, but most of the time I don't because you have to pay, you have to pay a fee per month to put them on Etsy and I don't, I just don't want to do that. So I just leave them in a box usually. They just kind of hang out in that box or in a box back there, pile. And I have, a bu I have a bunch of boxes down. My garage are just filled with paintings that I've done. If there's ever a garage sale in my neighborhood, I'll probably just take them out there and say, free, free box of paintings. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this white paint here. And I'm gonna scrub in a, this is gonna be a water line. There we go. I'm just going straight left to right, and pulling. There we go. Get another towel here. Whoops, almost yanked the whole thing off there. That wouldn't have been good. Spilled water all over the floor. Ooh. All right. When you finish the painting, can I see them? Yeah, you can. Uh, we might be able to take the camera around. If not, I can put a picture on my Instagram later or my Twitter. All right, I'm gonna make a rock here. I'm gonna use that green color I made the trees with. If I add some dark sienna to it. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna put this. Where are we gonna put this rock? Uh, I wanna put them right here. This is more like a boulder. Big old boulder. Scrub that in. And then we're going to throw in maybe another little one back behind him. I just got to remember to highlight them separately. There we go. All right. And now we're going to go back to this fan brush. I'm just, I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm going to put some big trees up here. Fill in this space because there's a big space there. Don't look quite right. I'm gonna use black and blue. I don't know. Hopefully, it's a little darker than those ones. But big old tree. Big old tree there. Yeah. Maybe a little one. Little friend. This is just black and Prussian blue here, and these are pointing up. So we're just gonna something like this. All right, I need some more paint here. Black and blue. I'm just trying to get down to the rock here. I might cover them up, and that's okay. Yeah, there we go. We're covering up these rocks. We didn't need those rocks anyway. <laughs> he puts birds in this pain. He might. There, towards the end of the seasons he does put he starts putting more wildlife in his paintings which is nice little egrets and swans and cranes seagulls it's pretty nice all right we got two big trees i feel like i should do something with this rock here he's looking kind of unfriendly this is an unfriendly rock I want them to look friendly, so I'm going to add some white. This yellow ochre that I had relocated down there. This might be too white. Not white enough. Get some sienna. There we go. Something like this. I'm just going to highlight them. Just give them, give them some shapes. Try and get that little rock that we put back there. And then something there. And then we'll fill in all this area with plants. Plants and whatnot. All right. uh, yeah, we got we got time. I'm just throwing in some dark greenish color here. And then I'm gonna go over here. 
smack it in, just smack it in some paint, some dark colors, just filling in the space. There we go. And we'll go back with this brush. Pull down, pull down, pull down, left to right. There we go. Now, one inch brush. And actually, I'll use some oil here. Just some bit of, no, 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 not regular oil. Let's just use liquid white. And this is liquid white that I made because they don't make it for water mixed oils, but it's uh, just linseed oil and white paint. So I'm just gonna mix these up. Maybe I try and get some yellow in there. throwing in some shrubs and stuff. Throw one in there, one in there, maybe one back here. Some right there, one down here, one down there. Maybe one right on the edge. He's just hanging out. There we go. One sticks up. There we go. Oh, I gotta go go back from this. There we go. All right. So we got this big old rock, two rocks, two trees. I can't remember if I highlighted those or not, but I'm gonna add in some highlights anyway. Might use some more phthalo green. This white, it should be dark, very dark green, or mint green, I don't know. I'm just tapping in, so I'm tapping in right here. Tap, tap, tap. And I don't want to go down because I would mess up those. So I think we're good. I think this is. I think we're done with this one. So I'm going to use the old script liner and some linseed oil, and then I'm going to swirl it around in this red paint here. Uh, where do we want to sign? I'll sign up here. A little signature. And w J. And then I always try to put the date, just or the year, not the date. Two, two, just so I remember when I painted something. There we go. All right. And then here in a bit, I'm gonna clean up, clean up the old palette. Doesn't look like he put a. Is the boulder yellow because of the sunlight? Yeah, that's kind of what I was doing. The lights over here. Hitting the hitting the uh, boulder. I might smooth this out though. It's a little messy. This corner is a little messy. And to smooth stuff out, I just kind of touch it more with the with the knife. Pull it around. There we go. Something like that. Just cleans it up a little bit. All right these guys off and then I'll cut to the the intro and I'll try to see if I can get my camera off of there to walk it around might be a little tricky we'll see we'll see all right I'm just gonna wipe that guy off all right we got those done we'll take this one down see how it looks in the uh up close. There we go. There's the painting. Bob Ross, season uh, 26, episode 10. Trying to. It's supposed to be purple now. I think I just made them white. So. <laughs> that happens sometimes. But, all right. So that one's pretty good. Let's see if I can aim the camera down over 